Here I thought tripping over all this junk would be the biggest threat to my life. Ah, yes. Your great uncle Marvin was a collector of sorts. A collector or a hoarder? Most of this junk, as you call it, are items Marvin acquired on his many adventures. Adventures? He must have traveled a lot. He lived for it. I always wanted to see more of the world. It sounds like he tried to live life to the fullest. Marvin was always an outdoors man, gallivanting around from one challenge to another. Well, he wasn't up to the challenge of basic home maintenance. I mean, the chandelier fell right after I arrived. How does that even happen? You didn't lure me here to kill me, did you, Miss Olive? Because I'm pretty sure it's always the butler. No, ma'am. Of course not. <laughs> I'm joking. That would be a bit too shocking. Not to mention cliché. Ah, yes. I see. <laughs> but still, how did it even happen? Yes. It is rather peculiar. Stay back, Marlo. Be careful of the glass, buddy. <laughs> What's that, boy? Oh, the wire from the chandelier. This thing must be really old for it to have snapped like that. Hmm. It almost looks like a clean cut. Get it together, Ava. This isn't one of your mystery novels. What's that in the rubble? This corner would be the perfect place to hunker down with a book. Quite. I too enjoy getting lost in a good novel. Have you a designated room in your present residence to read? A library, perhaps? In my apartment? No way. I barely had room to move. I just had my favorite reading chair. The more time I spent reading, the more it helped my writing. You seem to take your writing career very seriously. Yeah, I love my job. But honestly, I've been in a bit of a slump lately. Murder by Moonlight set up a lot of high expectations. Ah, yes. Your first novel. Yeah, but I haven't been able to follow it up yet. There is no merit in self-pity. From what Marvin said, your work is critically acclaimed. You're right, Miss Olive. Thanks. Getting a space set up to read can be the first step. Allow me to assist you, Mom. <laughs> We need a balance between elegant and comfy. It looks incredible. I can already imagine a late night session here, curled up with Marlowe and a good book. Um, a fine choice, Mom. Do call upon me if I can assist you further. It was nice of Olive to give me a hand. She likes reading. Maybe I should give her a copy of my book, Murder by Moonlight. Excuse me, Miss Olive? Just Olive, if you please, Mom. Oh, okay. You can just call me Ava. I cannot, Mom. You are... You allow your hound upon the furniture, Mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marlo will always find the comfiest seat in the house. Won't you, boy? <gasps> Looks like we picked the right sofa. Uh, 
Anyway, Olive, um, I know you mentioned that you like reading. Is that your novel? Yes, it's Murder by Moonlight. I thought you might be interested in a copy. Oh, it's very considerate of you to think of me. Thank you, Mom. No thanks needed. I hope you like it. Do you enjoy murder mysteries? I've been obsessed with detective novels since I was a kid. <sighs> Olive? Um, hello? Olive, the chandelier is falling again. Huh? She's so distracted. I guess that's a good sign. I should get back to working on the foyer. Let's see here. It's an old boot. But whose boot? And how did it come to be hidden amongst the rubble of this murderous chandelier? <laughs> I'll stash this for later. This place just keeps getting weirder. I have to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> right, enough investigating. Let's clean this up once and for all. This mess is going to take a while to clean with all this dust and shards of glass. I'll fetch a broom, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for the hand. So, how long did you know my great-uncle Marvin? Oh, goodness. About half a century. Wow, you must have known each other so well. I've only known my best friend Serena for six years, and it feels like forever. <clears throat> yes, I suppose we had become rather ancient. Oh, Miss Olive, that isn't what I meant. I, I was just impressed you knew him for so long. My parents must have known him for a long time, too. Wonder why they never mentioned him, or that this place existed. I guess they weren't really around enough to talk to me much in general. Did my great uncle Marvin ever bring up my family? That was so long ago, dear. And Marvin was always one to look to tomorrow rather than fret about yesterday. However, your great uncle did confide in me that. He wished he could meet you again. Really? I wonder what my life would have been like if I had known him. What do you think, Marlo? Comfy under your paws? <coughs> Great! That's one hazard out of our way. Not bad for a start, wouldn't you say, Marlo? <coughs> It's exciting to finally be able to do some interior design without a landlord yelling at me. What next? This old side table has got to go! What do you say, Marlo? Should we get rid of this dusty old side table? Uh -huh. No, no, Marlo. Don't sniff again. Remember last time? Uh -huh. I tried to warn you, buddy, but thanks for helping me clear this stuff off. <laughs> oh. All that's left are the photo frame. And, oh, there was an answering machine buried under all that clutter. Let's get rid of everything else. What kind of look should we go for? Very classy. Replacing the old furniture was a great idea. I have
haven't used an answering machine for a while. But there's a message blinking. Who knows how long it's been there? I should probably listen to the message before moving on. Who can resist a blinking red light? Hey, Marlo? Huh? Where's the play button on this old thing? Don't touch that! Olive? Sincerest apologies, Mom. That was unprofessional. I just... that message... I've not listened to it in over a year. It's, well, the last message from Marvin before his disappearance. Oh, Olive, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Nor could you have, Mom. Perhaps it is time. After all, you are Marvin's descendant, not me. You have a right to hear it. Are you sure, Olive? Please, Mom. Whenever you're ready. All right. Here we go. Olive, my dear. I think I found it. Oh, finally. After decades of searching, I know I'm close. Tell the staff I'll be arriving home within the month. Oh, and Olive, there's something else. I want you to know I... What, what was that? Olive, don't trust... What, what, what happened? I don't know. Authorities have found no trace of Marvin. He simply disappeared. That was from his expedition? What did he find? Marvin was seeking a priceless family heirloom along the Silk Road in Bhutan that went missing decades ago. It sounded like he was trying to tell you something at the end. Do you have any idea what he meant? None. I... Apologies, Mom. It's quite difficult for me to hear. I believe I'll take a moment to reflect. If you'll excuse me. Sure, Olive. That must have been so hard for Olive to relive. <laughs> Let's give her some space. Why don't we cheer her up by restoring this old cupboard? I can't believe my great uncle just up and disappeared like that. Under such suspicious circumstances, too. Don't fret, Marlo. I just wish I knew more about him. Well, let's keep going. I'm sure we'll discover more as we go. We've made such a big difference here already. But this old cupboard looks like a big ghost. <laughs> it's okay, Marlo. It's just a sheet. See? Oh, uh, a soccer ball. I guess Uncle Marvin was a sports fan. Oh, Marlo. <laughs> I'm glad he's having so much fun. Speaking of fun, what style should I pick? Lovely! The new cupboard will be an ideal place for cups or soccer balls. Maybe I'll find that soccer ball and play with Marlo. Looks like somebody is tired from all that playing. I'll just put the ball away while I'm tidying up. Wait, what's this? Why was a soccer ball belonging to that Cooper dude? 
in here. So weird. Maybe Olive knows more. I should go find her. Did you need something, Mom? How'd you do that? A good butler always knows when they're required. That's such a cool trick. And... Huh? Oh, right. I found a soccer ball in the cupboard. The writing on it says Cooper. Do you know much about him? Ah, yes, Cooper. That football does belong to him. Football? But, uh, oh, right. We call it soccer back home. Football's this whole other noisy, sweaty thing. Indeed. Well, I shan't be reaching out to return it to Cooper. That is for certain. Oh, why not? Cooper used to hold the position of groundskeeper at Blackwood Manor until recently. He has since abandoned his post and is attempting to sway me from mine, which I simply will not tolerate. I knew that guy was bad news. Although with my great uncle gone, is there really any reason to stay? I feel it is my duty to Marvin, to Blackwood Manor. It is my choice, but Cooper cannot bear it. I'm afraid that it has impacted our friendship. Ahem. <clears throat> but one does not need friends, only purpose. Hmm, that must have been why he was leaving in such a huff earlier. Not that it excuses his behavior. We think he's a jerk, don't we, Marlo? Marlo? Where are you going? You're supposed to agree with me. I better go see what he's up to. There's nothing even remotely edible stashed away in here, is there, Olive? Because Marlo will find it. Olive? She hid the recording device in the flower bouquet. How devilishly clever. Olive? Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon. How can I assist? So how are you liking Murder by Moonlight? Ah, yes. It is quite a thrill. Oh, great. I'm glad you're liking it. Enjoy. I better go track down Marlo. Mom, might I ask, do they find the murder weapon? Ha! I don't want to spoil anything for you, Olive. Ah, yes. Quite right. Marlo? There you are! <laughs> what are you doing sniffing around the piano? Huh. Uncle Marvin didn't exactly strike me as a pianist. If this was in my book, I'd press a key and it would reveal a secret door. Like so! Oh, <gasps> oh no! I didn't expect that to happen! I'd better do something about this mess I've made. Is everything broken in this place? Wait, what's that shiny thing? Is it jewelry? I should check it out. Uh -huh. It's a photo. That's Uncle Marvin. And is that Olive? So she can smile. Yes, Ava. Those were happier times. This was taken the day Marvin left for the last time. Look at that old fool. He wasn't afraid of anything. Perhaps he should have been. 
If he's the man you've told me about, he's still out there, Olive. I wish that it were so, Mom. I must excuse myself. Those fresh berries won't keep another minute, and I should bake a pie. I had no idea, Marlo. Olive always seems so solitary. <coughs> Purpose isn't enough. We'll be her friends. We should find a way to cheer her up. Maybe a new piano will help. <gasps> I know. We can do something that'll make a gigantic difference in here. Let's fix up the walls. I'm gonna need some paint and supplies to get these walls into shape. Hmm, what was it that Cooper told me? There are more supplies in the tool shed if you're stubborn. No, cool enough to stay. Let's go see if we can find that shed, Marlo. <coughs> I bet it stinks of fertilizer. Nope, Cedarwood. Huh, he actually kept this little shed in good condition. Let's see, paint, rollers, wallpaper stripper. Looks like everything I need. Wait, what's this? It's a beautiful toolbox. There's an engraving on it from Olive. I guess Cooper and Olive were good friends. Kinda seems hard to believe. Nice work on not digging anything up while I was occupied, Marlo. <coughs> this is a nice spot out here, though it doesn't look like anything is growing. We should come back later and explore. <coughs> Well, we've got all we need for the walls. Let's head back. All right, all set. Time to pick a style. Now that's what I'm talking about. That makes a massive difference. This foyer is starting to look elegant. But it needs a finishing touch. I think I'll add something extra to these walls. I finally get to do all the decorating I was never allowed to do in our apartment. Get ready for this, Marlo! Ha! Perfect! What do you think of that, buddy? Marlo? Seriously, again? There you are. I see your big old butt. What are you doing behind that <gasps> hot air balloon basket? <laughs> really, Uncle Marvin? Time to see what Marlo's gotten his nose into now. What you got back there, boy? Jeez, is that a real bone? It's huge! It must have been from a giant animal. Pretty impressive investigating, canine Marlow. Let me just... Uh, take that. Marlow, give! 
Ha! Got it. And it's slimy. I think I'll just tuck this away for now until I figure out what it is. Wonder what other interesting gems are hiding in this clutter. If I clear it out, I can add some feature decorations to liven up the room. <laughs> Don't sulk, Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over how great the new walls look. These alcoves would be perfect for some extra decor. But first, all this clutter has to go. Sadly, that includes you, hot air balloon. It feels much more spacious in here. What do we go for, Marlo? Arr, arr. We have to do something about what used to be that piano. Oh. Olive had that photo displayed on the piano. I wonder if she plays. It was so dusty and decrepit. She must not have wanted to play after Uncle Marvin was gone. We could get a new piano in here to cheer her up. What kind do you think she'd like, Marlo? Oh, it's gorgeous. So very olive. Oh. Excellent choice, buddy. It really makes the whole room feel more elegant. Some sleek floorboards would complement the new walls. I can't do the floors alone. I wouldn't know where to start. I should check online for a local business who could help. Hmm, here's one. Valley Varnishing. Out of business. Must be another. Oh, what about Ellen Lee Elite Flooring? Ah. Uh, no longer accepting new clients? Seriously? The pickings are more slim than I expected. I can't do the floors alone. Hate to admit it, but maybe that Cooper person could give me a hand. I guess I should give him a call. Cooper speaking. Hey, Cooper. It's Ava from Blackwood Manor. Ava, let me guess. You went inside the manor. How's that going for you? Things are going just fine. I was just after some professional advice. So, how did you get my number? Oh, I found your business card. In the garden. Okay, I realize that sounds pretty odd. I didn't stalk you online. Don't flatter yourself. In the garden? Sure. Hey, I'm serious. Anyway, I thought you might be able to help, but it's starting to feel less likely. Oh, but Ava, you're perfectly capable. All right, you win. The floorboards and stairs have seen better days. I need them replaced. I thought you wanted advice. I've told you, I'm done with that place. There's no one else in the whole valley who can help. Believe me, I tried. Think of it as a business arrangement. Or better yet, come show me how it's done, and I won't have to ask you again. Ever. Well, you do sound desperate. I'll help. But just with the floors and stairs. Deal? Deal. 
Cool. So I'd like to get started on these sooner rather than later. Did he really hang up on me? I should answer the door. Maybe it's finally Cooper. Calm down, Marlo. Play it cool. Did someone here order a professional? Yeah, have you seen one? He's late. <laughs> well, come in. Um, is Olive in right now? What? You're gonna have to speak up. Is Olive in? Yeah, I can call her over if you want. Oh, Olive! No! Oh, sorry. I thought you might want to talk to her again. Sounds like she told you her side of the story already. <laughs> Wonderful. I'd prefer to avoid her. For now, anyways. Well, you must have called me here for a reason. Can we start? Right. I was hoping we could fix up the floors. I had some cute ideas. Huh? Cute ideas? <laughs> Whatever. Let's do this. Alright, I was thinking we start here and go there. You hired me, right? That's right. I hired you. Therefore, I call the shots. How about we just work together, yeah? Like we did on the front gate. You know, that actually sounds like the best plan. I was tossing around a few different styles. Those designs look solid. Okay, let's remove these nails and pull up the old boards. Like this? That's it. Good technique. After that, we'll hammer in the new ones. Ready? Ready. Nice work. Beautiful. Um, the floorboards, oh? they look beautiful. Heh, <laughs> they sure do. It was quite a job, but I think I got the hang of it now. <laughs> From splintery to slippery. Team AC does it again. It's Team C-A. <laughs> All jokes aside, well done. Hello? Is, is that you, Olive? Probably just the creaky old stairs. Yes. But to be honest, I'm concerned for Olive. I don't see why she insists on wasting her time here, cooped up all alone in this mess. Well, she's not alone now. Maybe you should just talk to her, Cooper. Nope. I don't think I'm ready for that. I'll be back. Gonna grab some more tools so we can get the stairs over with. <gasps> Bye, buddy. While Cooper is away, maybe I can replace this stinky old brug. You seem to like a Marlow. He can't be all bad. Oh. He did work hard to help me replace these floors. They look so good. In fact, they look so nice that this old rug looks kind of raggedy now. Let's surprise Olive and Cooper with a new one. Oh. Picking new things out is the best part of renovating. Oh. I like the same one. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. Oh, Cooper must be back. Hopefully he has the tools so we can start the stairs. Let's see if he's ready to go. Uh, 
little help. My hands are full. What's the magic word? Little help. Now? Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Please. Of course. Phew, that stuff is heavy. So, notice anything different? Yeah, that you're being weird. You're very pleased with yourself, aren't you? Actually, I am. This is going exactly as I hoped. And now we can make some beautiful new stairs. Whoa, slow down there, Ava. We're not ready to make stairs yet. First, we have to prepare to make the stairs. Is this some kind of Zen thing? No. We have to build scaffolding, scrape paint, clean sand. And then we can make the stairs? Yes. Then we can make stairs. Cool. Give me a scraper. Wow, that was hard work. It was. I'm kind of impressed. Kind of? What does it take to make you really impressed? Well, we'll see. It's finally time to make the stairs. I'm so excited about the stairs, and I don't even know where they go. I'm no genius, but my guess is the second floor. Well, you're at least half right, wise guy. Nice one. What kind of stairs do you want to take you up to the unknown? That was a hard choice. I hope we can pull this off. Looks like we did it again. You did great. Wow, they look fantastic. Thank you for all your help, Cooper. Sure. It was actually pretty fun. There is pie fresh from the up. Uh, oh, Cooper. Hello. I didn't realize you were here. Uh, Ava asked me to help with the stairs as a favor. I, I was just on my way out. What? Cooper? Have pie with us. You've earned it. You're certainly welcome to stay. No, thank you. I, I don't have much of an appetite. We're all adults. We have to fix this. I'm sorry, Ava. It was a mistake for me to come. I'm sorry too, Mom. This is my fault. Me and my stubbornness. Well, let's have some of that pie. I'm ready to eat some feelings. Do enjoy a slice, Mom. It's my famous elderberry pie. Thanks, Olive. I bet it's as tasty as it smells. It is delicious! I'm glad, Mom. May I help you to a second serving, Mom? Okay, but only one more! <laughs> Olive, you've put me in a food coma. Come now, Mom. A respite is deserved. You've already brought such life to the foyer. You've already brought such life to the foyer. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without your help. Or without Cooper. Um, yes. Cooper. Indeed, Mom. Some time ago. Indeed, Mom. Some time ago. But... 
two explosive personalities often fail to see common ground. Yeah, I get that. I have first-hand experience. Um, thank you kindly, Mom. Um, thank you kindly, Mom. Might you require any assistance with your agenda for tomorrow? Well, aside from writing, I figure I have plenty to explore and do around here. I don't want to impose, but might I suggest a visit into the Ellen Lee Town Center? Oh, um... I, I'd rather not. I think I'll leave it for a later time. <laughs> As I said, I have enough to keep me occupied at the manor for a while. Understood, Mom. Allow me to show you and... Master Marlowe to your quarters. Whoop! <laughs>